Hello and welcome to this week's content tea party with our obligatory cup of tea and I am very happy to welcome you also to the replay. Um, I've just jumped in waiting for people to jump on so this is a little bit of time that I get to say hello to you and thank you very much for taking the time to watch this replay. If you've watched the content tea party before, you know who I am. If you haven't, I am Stephanie Fiteni and I help coaches, service providers and entrepreneurs get more traffic, inquiries and clients from their website and their social media presence. So I am all about, you know, getting more clients and growing your business without, of course, um, the overwhelm, because that is a big no-no for me. Work-life balance is very, very important. So today's topic is going to be how to get more clients online. And this question actually comes from a very special place, um, a small place, a little community, which is actually my Facebook group. And I asked a question in there, which is, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I asked a question. Um, it was, what are you struggling with? Which is the one thing that you, you know, you struggle with when it comes to content? Because of course, this is the content tea party and we talk about content. And a lot of people talked about leads and about getting clients and about going online. You know, a lot of people have used so far before 2020, before this crazy pandemic hit, a lot of people were using social media and online content on their website as a way to subsidize and sort of to boost the way their business was coming in. But in the last year, this has become more and more uh, the, the one way, the, the main way that we can get our clients. So this has become increasingly important to my clients. This is why actually I am preparing something very special. Um, in the next couple of weeks, you will start hearing about it. Um, I am preparing some free training specifically about lead generation and getting clients online. Um, but today I am specifically going to answer this question. So it's a very, um, it's a very, it's a very nice little intimate group. If you would like to join my Facebook group, you can just Google what you can see right here. More days in Google traffic with content and SEO. Google it on Facebook because it's a Facebook group and you can join us to make sure that you get a front seat when the training comes out but let's get back to our question today and the question is so how do you get more clients online so one of the things is, that is very important uh, before we start is that i am not going to ask you to do things that are you know very uncomfortable at least to me uh, and i think to a lot of people out there I'm not going to ask you to send DMs to people you don't know. I'm not going to ask you to attend BNI or networking sessions online where, you know, it's a Zoom call and there's like 50 people you don't know and they're all taking it in turns to have your 60 seconds. No, I'm not going to ask you to buy email lists and I'm also not going to ask you to approach strangers on LinkedIn because I really hate it when people do that to me. What I am going to do is give you just a few tips that I know have helped me to grow my online business over the last few years. And, you know, looking back, I can really see now what really, really made a difference then. So what I'm trying to explain here is that, you know, when you look back, when you've done this for a few years, you can really see, you can really track back those things that really gave you a push and and suddenly you started seeing this really strong um you know upward motion in terms of following in terms of audience and in terms of sales but these are the tips i'm going to share with you today so one of the first things that was really quite a turning point at really increasing the amount of clients i was getting online is actually finding my niche and sticking to it for a while. Now you have probably heard this a hundred times. I know I heard it a hundred times before I finally did, decided to be a little bit more self-disciplined and actually take my own medicine and do what I know I needed to do. And I did stick to a niche um, for at least a year and a half. And that is basically working specifically with coaches. In fact, I think approximately well, more than 60, probably close to 70 
percent of my clients are coaches uh, specifically also certain types of coaches and you know it, it becomes really easy when you pick your niche because when it comes to content you can very easily address your clients if you're trying to deal with three or four different types of clients you're going to try and you know write that social media post or write that blog post or do that video and you're going to be thinking of all these different people and you know what's going to happen you're going to dilute your message so much so that it applies for everyone that people are just going to find it a bit a bit average a bit middle of the road and it's, you know it doesn't really make for great content so definitely finding your niche is really going to help what helps as well with finding your niche is that you can really pepper all your content with actually who you target. So let's say you are a coach and you see um, a video about blogging and you see another video about blogging for coaches. I mean, which one you're going to click on? Of course, you're going to click on the one that is specifically for you. And this is the strength of finding your niche and sticking to it for some time because pivoting too often again is not something that's going to help your business okay so the next thing is to love your clients we hear this a lot but know the clients you love so have a good look at the clients you work with and make sure that you know which ones you love to work with make sure that you focus your marketing on attracting more of that kind of person and this is you know sounds a little bit wow a little bit woo you know a little bit vague perhaps but it's one of those things where when you start focusing on these people that you want to attract more of these people you absolutely loved working with you'll find that you'll find yourself talking to them when you're writing your blog post you'll find yourself talking to them when you're writing your social media and then you find that people similar to them are responding to you especially if you use the words they use to communicate with you so this is an extremely important point and then of course the next tip is probably the most obvious one in order to be able to get more clients online you have to be visible i hear this a lot you know sometimes people come to me and they say oh i'm never going to write and i'm never going to do online video and i really hate social media but in order to get clients online you have to take a commitment to being visible you can start slow you can pick the the mediums you are most comfortable with first but the truth is that if you do want to get clients online you cannot compromise you have to be visible and you cannot only be visible when you need more clients you have to be visible consistently because when we're visible consistently we work with the algorithms to get more visibility and we also build a certain trust uh, we also start building relationships with the people who watch us so visibility and consistency are extremely important and of course, I think the final thing is to really relax into it and try to be yourself because, you know, sometimes you get people where, you know, you can have all these photoshopped images and yes, it's great. We all have great images on our websites and if we don't, of course, we all want them. But, you know, it's important that you are really sort of yourself and you are, you know, you don't try to, I don't know, change your accent or change the way you dress or be be something that you're not because you will lose that that effect you will lose the, the connection with your audience and you will lose you know people can tell when somebody's being fake people can tell when somebody's lying people can tell when somebody's getting a new idea every week and just putting it out there and they have no real expertise to back it up with so you know be true to yourself be true to your strengths and make sure that you know you stay visible and you stay confident and you stay on your lane, you know, stay in your niche for at least a couple of years until you really, really hack that. OK, so if you're there, actually, I can't see the comments yet um, because I didn't have it open. But if you're there, do pop me an emoji and let me know you're there so that I can see you and the software lets me know that you're here. If you have questions about what we have just discussed, feel free to drop it into the into the comments um, and let me know what your question is okay so one thing that i really wanted to go a little bit deeper on is this thing of sticking to your lane so you know when i first started an online business um, i came from okay i came from marketing before that i came from programming before that even you know i was a teacher so 
you know, I always, I kind of knew where I wanted to go, but I kept pivoting. I was a bit like a weather vane, you know, I would, I would work with this coach and there'd be other, other coaches in there and they'd be doing all these different things. And I'd say, oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. And somebody else would say, oh, you know, and I started building, building this business. And then I would, I would constantly change. And then what I realized was that it actually makes a big difference when you stick to one thing for a long time because then you become known and you become visible for that particular thing that you know that you do and it's important because if you keep changing your messages then you really really confuse your audience okay so that's what i had for you today i can i'm not seeing any questions pop up um if you want to pop questions underneath uh this video during the replay, feel free if you're watching the replay to pop that question. Do tag me so that I can find it and I can answer you right away. In the meantime, I'd like to invite you to come back next week. Same time, same place. And also look out for the free training, which is actually about getting more clients online. And the free training is going to start in a couple of weeks. But like I mentioned earlier, you can pop into my Facebook group, and which is just right here. You can search that on Facebook. You can join the group so that you get a front seat when I do the training and you make sure you don't miss any of it. It's going to be completely free. So, you know, it's definitely worth, worth a watch. And of course, if you want to watch previous episodes, you can pop into YouTube actually and look up Stephanie Fitani. I have a YouTube channel there where you can get all the replays that you see of the weekly content tea party. In the meantime, I'm going to say goodbye and let me know if there's anything you want to ask or anything any information about things i've mentioned today just pop them underneath this video thank you very much for turning up and i'll see you next week